Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Scorpio friends and friends of Scorpio. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and I am Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So this is your reading for February 12th, excuse me, through the 18th. All messages are also timeless, so please, if you do feel drawn to another message, I encourage you to take a look. There is probably something in there for you. So I channel messages with spirit prior through meditation. We go into a couple oracle cards and then move into the tarot. So Scorpio, what I saw for you guys in meditation, it was a bit of a head scratcher, okay, as I scratched my head. <laughs> it was a bit of a head scratcher, all right. Um, pretty simple, but it took me a bit for spirit to like <laughs> get the message to come through here. So what I saw was, first it was a six-pointed star. And I thought, oh, like Seal of Solomon, are we talking about protection? What's going on here? And um, then new points just started appearing throughout this shape, and it just got larger and larger and larger as far as, you know, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 100 different points on here. So ultimately, the message that was coming through, this shape, basically, if you imagine like a, a six-pointed star, we'll say, with um, sharp points on it, if you were to roll that on yourself, there's going to be a deeper puncture that is made with each of those points. The more that, because of the space, the distance between each point, math is involved with this, okay? So surface tension is kind of what was going on here that was coming through in the message. The more points that are on that shape, like think of like a derma roller, I guess. Um, the more that you roll that with more points of contact on there, the less that it is able to break the surface tension of your skin. So more contact equals less pain, all right, is what was coming through to me. <laughs> So something about uh, could be leaning on friends, making new friends, sharing the tension, okay, also helps alleviate the tension. Sharing the load, all right? Thank you, Spirit. It was a real interesting one. I'm going to be honest with you. I kept asking, like, can you show me another way? I, I don't understand. And they're just like, I just need you to get it, okay? <laughs> so here we are, Scorpio. So for your Oracle 222 there on the timer, your Oracle deck, Spirit wanted to use the Blue Angel Oracle, and you guys got Wings of Light. So this is one of my favorite cards here, for sure. Positive news, yay! A positive result or a joyful message arrives and brightens your day. Once you receive it, you may want to pause for a moment to reflect on the people and things that matter most to you. Thank the universe for these gifts of love. Friends, family, community, country, world, universe, is it not all important? Is it all not a blessing? The universe is inside you, for you are the luminous essence from which all from which all stems. Let us give thanks for this eternal blessing and great mystery. So community comes through there as well. Love it. I am excited to see what the positive news is for you guys. You guys d deserve some positive news, okay? Um, <laughs> I know you've been dealing with some very, very deep things, and there are deep things out there to deal with, right? This month has felt pretty crunchy. I feel like there is energy that's being held for some reason. And after February, there will be something moving forward, okay? So if you're feeling stagnated in some way, just kind of hang out, hold up. Spirit, what do we have here for Scorpio as far as animal energy? This is the animal spirit, wild unknown animal spirit oracle as well. Dragonfly. So we are talking about some magic. That sounds like good news to me. Good news to me, you guys. Let's see. If I can get back to it. There we go. Dragonfly. So dragonfly is a master of light, illusion, and the mind. The dragonfly is an ancient and ethereal creature that awakens a sense of wonder in all. The dragonfly is a symbol of the mind as it is always moving, shifting, shimmering, and changing. When the dragonfly card appears, it's worth considering the quality of your mind and perception. Are they restless or still? dreamlike or crystal clear. The situation at hand may be different than it appears at first glance. The dragonfly reminds us to calm the mind so the light of wisdom can shine through. So when in balance, sees clarity, joyful and magical. When out of balance, can't concentrate, busy mind. To bring into balance, focus on the breath. Let's focus on the breath, all right? All right, Scorpio. All right, let's get into your tarot messages here. Spirit, what do we have for Scorpio? A Scorpio friend. Oh, you do have the wheel here at the bottom to start. I do feel like things are changing for you in a positive way. This is my Lightseer's Tarot. 
totally forgot the name while I was doing Cancer. It's my Light Seer's Tarot. So Spirit, what do we have here for Scorpio? And thank you guys for being here. I appreciate all of your love and support. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell if this message is resonating with you. I truly appreciate it. I have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description. Also, if you feel called to or inclined to donate or tip, I really appreciate it, you guys. It's very helpful on my journey here. It's not mandatory, but I do appreciate it. If you're looking for personal readings, I do have those offered. That is a link as a pinned comment in the comment section. And then extended readings are also available now. That is a link in the description of the video. Stay tuned towards the end as well to get some information on how to win some free readings. So two of wands here at the bottom. This is what you want, your heart's desire here. I feel like there is a desire to move on from something. You're wanting to, to move, to travel. Could be actually travel. Maybe you're having a little bit of wanderlust. You want to make a plan to get out of here. But I feel like there's very much this like forlorn feeling. You just want to move away from a situation that you are in now to something else. Mm, okay, let's keep going. Three of hearts here at the split. Talk about some heartache and loss. Maybe that's what you want to be moving away from. So Spirit, what do we have here for Scorpio? This is my This May Hurt Tarot. Always may hurt. Queen of Swords pops out here. So definitely wanting some clarity over something. This is a general message, you guys, so please take it as it resonates with you. Please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you. You are also powerful. And check out your rising moon and Venus signs, too. There are other messages there. You are more than just your sun sign, okay? So page of swords at the bottom here. This is your fear or anxiety. Um, paranoia comes through. That's interesting. I don't feel like that's for all of you, but... This is uh, a need to become curious about something. I feel like maybe you're tired, like gathering information on things. The two of wands there, what you want to do is just go. Like you just want to go. <laughs> maybe even skipping the part of planning because this is kind of the investigating. Maybe you don't want to plan that trip to Hawaii. You just want somebody to take care of for you. You just want to get down there. That's kind of what I'm getting. For some of you, there may be, like, this is definitely a spying energy, and that's kind of where the, may not even be paranoia, it could be legitimate. Somebody keeping tabs on you. Ugh, I don't like that. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Okay, let's get into the general message here. So to start, you have five of pentacles. Five of pentacles is moving, you're moving away from the bad stuff right now, okay, you guys? Especially having the Wheel of Fortune there at the bottom of the deck before shuffling. Yes, I feel like this cycle is changing. Something is changing for you guys. You have had a stint, at least since I've been reading here, it's been really rough <laughs> for you guys. So I feel like you guys are finding the key there to move into the next room. You can barely breathe in this room. It's time to, it's time to move forward. Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Yeah, hey, if that wasn't, yeah, clarified before here, things are changing for the better for you guys. If you're feeling out in the cold, if you're feeling abandoned, you're starting to move into a story that doesn't involve that, being the one who's left out. Maybe you're having health issues or financial issues. You're moving into a time, and this is like, a, this is related to karma, not a, like you deserve this karma, it is something that your soul wanted to learn in this lifetime, and I feel like you're learning it. This wings of light, too. Oh, wings of light and the dragonfly being wings of light. Oh, I love this. I just caught that. Okay. Thanks, spirit. Cute. So cute. Um, I definitely feel that there is positive news coming through here. Maybe it could even be as simple as you are starting to notice that things are changing for the better. Gosh, yeah. Hell yeah, Scorpio. So in your good stuff here to start, you have the chariot. Positive forward movement, yes. Finally, I feel like this month, okay, like I said, the energy, I don't know what in the hell is going on. I wish I was a bit better at astrology. Um, I think that's something that I'll probably delve into a bit more as far as learning. I don't know what's going on astrologically in particular. Maybe there's something with the um, astrological weather that is causing a stagnation right now, just kind of a buildup, a bottleneck. 
but things just feel a bit difficult to move forward. And I feel like you're feeling that. Pressure, like that pressure building. Under pressure. <laughs> So, um, being in the, the good stuff here though, there is, you're getting your courage back. You're some of you may be moving, maybe actually moving to another location. A reason to have faith though comes through. Lots of good things, feeling protected, feeling safe, feeling in the zone is what's coming through too. Ace of Pentacles, damn you guys. Yes, it's it seems like this energy that it's been building up as you have been diving deep and dealing with these emotions and learning like through the meditation, this, these points of contact, okay? Pain lessons through multiplying your points of contact. That is an important lesson, okay? That is a part of what is bringing this good news forward for you. You may be learning that sharing the load is important. Being a leader, which is very much on the, the, not shadow side, the positive side, the light side of the Scorpio, um, a leader is leading from the front, right? Not, not from the back. I, and I see in that analogy, like you're not leading from the shadow, you're leading from the light. And being in the light also means like you're not dumping on people all the time, but you can also be real and open up to people about what's going on with you and still be a leader. And I feel like that may be for some of you what you're struggling with. Like it takes the light and the dark here, okay, to lead the carriage forward. That's what I'm getting. And you're learning that. There are times to share. There are times not to share. But choosing one over the other provides pain imbalance right so finding that balance the more points of contact here because the points are jagged it's up and down it's the upright um, triangle it's the inverted triangle as well so masculine and feminine giving and receiving knowing that balance is what I'm getting here okay ace of pentacles here though this is um, this is like unlimited potential here in the material realm towards your job. I just really feel like these like floodgates are opening. <laughs> this energy that has been stagnated career could be health wise for you too. difficulties at home could be relationships too. Like you finally found your way through. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> um, what's hidden here? What's in the dark? You may not be aware of you have the queen of swords. Clarity is coming. That's what fell out as we were we were shuffling here. You are on this voyage of of truth, you know? You're seeking the truth here. You're learning the truth too, and you may not be aware. What do you mean by that? Okay. I there's truth coming. <laughs> there's something involving a situation from the past this is a part of 1333 there 333 of letting yourself into a more comfortable room here moving forward positively there's information coming forward but it's like this information comes forward as you decide to move forward too it's not the catalyst that helps move you forward hmm okay Okay. Three of Cups here comes in to clarify that. So this is um, kind of along the lines of what I was just saying there. Like, this isn't the catalyst for you to move forward. You are moving forward even though there was whatever pain, whatever strife you've gone through. You may not have more information on it or anything that really brings you closure, but you're still deciding to celebrate anyway with friends. <laughs> Back to those additional points of contact here. I feel like what's also hidden here is there are there are new opportunities to to make new friends too, like good substantial friends. Love that, love that journey for you, Scorpio. Your challenge, um, Queen of Cups comes in here. So I feel I feel like the challenge here is that it's the protective quality of the emotions. Still learning that balance of when to open up when to hold back, that sort of thing. 
but you're learning this. <laughs> this is a part of the lesson that the wheel, the wheel of fortune is talking about. You're learning this. And as you're learning this, the floodgates are opening. But it is still tricky. It's not, you know, you're still working on it. Seven of Wands here comes in to clarify that too. The reason why I feel like in the past, maybe you've opened up to the wrong person and this was used against you is kind of what I'm feeling. Um, not even in the form of a grudge. Like Scorpios can definitely hold a grudge. We can all hold a grudge, but Scorpios can hold a grudge for like lifetimes, right? <laughs> um, what I, it's not a grudge, like I said, holding that, but it's holding that information of like, I'm, I don't forget. An alpha never forgets. A Scorpio never forgets. Somebody abused you opening up at some point, and this has now made you cautious about doing this anywhere. There is a an expectation almost of anybody I open up to now, this is what's going to happen, if A, then B, right? Which is not, um, it's an invalid argument, right, in logic, because it's not an if A, then B situation. It could be if A, then C, if D, 14, you know? I feel like you are starting to find the right people to open up to. And every time you make the choice to raise your glass with them, it's showing you that it's safe. And this is opening you up further to your positive forward movement. Love it, Scorpio, I love this for you. This is your positive news. <laughs> Feeling that, feeling really appreciative of your, of your tribe. Can we get some additional messages here? Three messages for Scorpio or advice on what's going on in their situation right now. Pretty, pretty, pretty please. Oh, that is not three. Not the middle three. Okay. <laughs> so you have strength, determination, perseverance, and self-discovery. That's very much the seven of wands here too. That courage and continuing forward. Maybe you're tired. Abundance, an inflow of money, love, and rewards. Yep, that's what's in your good stuff there, the chariot and ace of pentacles. Energy activation, connect to the divine through meditation or prayer. This can also be the seven of wands there too, being centered and connecting in that way. Um, also, queen of cups, that's what she's doing here, meditating. So this could be a component also that you are missing right now as far as moving towards this quicker, right? Wisdom, knowledge gained through experiences or from a wise counselor. Maybe you need a counselor. Or to pay attention to what has happened in your past in a different way. Like to have a, to switch your lens on the way that you're viewing it to glean the most wisdom that you possibly can. Okay, so these are the two components of your outcome right now um, towards your highest potential. So this is what you need to move towards your highest potential. Two cups. Connection, you guys. <laughs> connection, connection. For some of you, this is straight up romance. This is that like lightning pole connection to divine energy. That through this connection, it, it fills both of your cups. But it is divine connection. It doesn't have to be a romantic. It could be a friend. I feel very much like there are beautiful relationships that are coming through. <laughs> That's the positive news. <laughs> You're sending a note to somebody behind you. Do you want to be my friend? Check yes or no. And they check yes. <laughs> cute. I love it. Cute, cute. So the energy that's blocked here that may be preventing you from moving to your highest potential outcome, you have the nine of cups. Um, what's coming through on this, honestly, this is your personal satisfaction, but... Um, it's, it's like visualizing, knowing that something is possible for you here. What came through as soon as I grabbed it was wishing is for losers. <laughs> okay. Um, please still allow yourself to dream. Okay. This is like wish granted from the universe. When you stop yourself from dreaming, or if you stop dreaming, then how can, how can dreams come true if they're not even there? You know what I'm saying? Like that is a, that is a big part of being human here that's one of the better parts and that's kind of where i feel like 
some of you, whoever that message is for, um, opened up to the wrong person. And that happens sometimes. But don't let that destroy hope for the future. That's your good stuff here, too. There is hope and, and faith that comes through there. Okay, Scorpio, I love you guys so much. If you are interested, I'm going to move into the deep dive here extended. That's going to be linked in the description, like I said. So as far as your free readings, um, anybody who purchases an extended reading moving forward here has a chance to win every week a free 30-minute reading for that week that you purchased. I will contact you by the email address that you use to purchase the reading. While you're there, feel free to click on my newsletter link there, become a part of the Phoenix fam. That is another opportunity for you as long as you stay active, subscribed to the newsletter, you have an opportunity to win a free reading every month. Okay, you guys? I have some other Phoenix perks that are coming down the line here for you. And I am going to dive into love a little bit deeper, like I said, in the extended for Valentine's Day. All right, so stay tuned for a preview for the extended. I love you guys so, so much. Please have a beautiful week, and I will see you very soon. Bye. You guys are coming out of that floodgates opening again. This pause, something has been congested, constipated, stuck. And the purpose of this is for you to see something from a different angle, to see something that you weren't seeing before. Like I was saying about um, wisdom that came through there. Seeing something with a different lens, being able to really like pick up a different layer of something that you weren't seeing before, okay? So Six of Pentacles here, Eight of Cups. Ooh, the lovers, you guys. Yeah, Nine of Swords, I can see that. Oh, some sneaky passion. Okay, so um, <laughs> we'll get here into your general reading. Definitely looks like there is love. Okay, yeah, gosh, you guys. Those of you that are looking for love, um, the Emperor comes in here for your first card in love. And we will look at that at the end of the reading, but I definitely get Divine Counterpart right out the gate, okay? 